Hey, you guys, I'm here, and uh, I I've got this new spray paint gun, this new paint tool that I hear has been placed into uh, the world of Scrap Mechanic, and I, I, I was thinking it'd be funny to go and write on this person's house. So uh, let's go ahead, and I think if we press Q, we can pick what color we paint with, and now we can we can go ahead and write on this person's house. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Oh my God, I hope she doesn't come outside and see us. Oh my God, <laughs> we're, we're writing her name on the on the wall. Oh, this is too funny. Write on her, on her. Oh, this is too funny. We're writing this right on her garage door. This is so funny. Oh my God. There we go. Almost done. Hopefully she doesn't catch us. Oh, just two more things right there. And there we go. Ye old. There we go. Let's run away. Let's run away. Let's run away. Woohoo! <laughs> we got her. We got her. Hello, everybody. It's ye old here. And we are back with Scrap Mechanic. And we've got ourselves a super cool new tool called the paint tool and I am so happy for this item to be added to the game oh my god you guys you can't even begin to comprehend how awesome this is going to be this item practically gives us an infinite amount of blocks to begin messing around with so as you guys could see with this building here we had to put a lot of work into building this because there weren't a lot of color choices and whatnot but this here item gives us every color that you see right here as well as the option to put it onto so many different blocks. We can put it here, we can put it on there, we can put it on there. You can get, you put it onto anything you like and I don't know, it's just super duper awesome to finally be able to pick all these different things to, you know, color your world. But uh, I've got something to show you guys because I was working on this a bit before we started recording today. And if we go ahead and open our garage, Ooh, baby, what do we got in here? Oh my God, that is one stylish looking car. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. We've got ourselves a Mustang in Scrap Mechanic. How rad is that? Super duper cool. And ah, oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, you can, oh wait, oh my God. I just realized I somehow at some point completely like cut out the bottom of this vehicle. That's that's probably something I should fix. Just saying, probably something I should fix, but there we go. But uh, what makes this paint tool so cool is you can practically paint anything from buttons to blocks, all the way back over to your chairs of your vehicles, which is super cool. I mean, we can paint like that and we can erase as much as we like. And I don't know, I, I think it's really, really cool. So let's go ahead, throw some white back on there because I think white looks really good for those chairs. Oh wait, oh, I wanna see, can you paint the tires? Oh, you can paint the tires! You can paint the tires, guys! Oh my god, okay, um, I don't know, maybe some silver? Uh, I think that color fits well. Maybe a bit brighter? Uh, maybe that? That looks pretty good. Oh my god, that's so awesome! We don't have to have orange in our buildings anymore. Oh, this is so cool! I love it! Oh, this thing is so rad, but, um, I want us to go back to our house, you guys, because I want to mess around with painting some of the interior and seeing if there's anything that I want to paint specifically to make it look cooler. Let's go ahead, let's park our vehicle on in our garage here. Uh, there we go, perfect. And uh, maybe we can, oh no, we're stuck. Okay, let me out, man. Okay, there we go. But uh, I'm wondering, do we wanna paint any of our shelves here? Honestly, I actually kind of like how the shelves look here. I don't know if we really wanna mess with them, but hey, why not give some uh, other colors a shot. Let's try out a brown and see what we think of that. So if we were to go ahead and do something like that, that's how that shelving would start to look. And as much as it's weird because it's like, it's not orange, you know? It's weird because it's different, but I think that's kind of cool. I kind of like how, I just, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I don't know. I don't know. It's not even a brown though. It's more of like a brown slash orange icky color, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I can get behind that color in our garage. I can get behind that color. I kind of, I might be able to adjust to that. I think it's pretty cool. Just to have some new colors in here. We've still got our orange tires. We can mess around and have a bit different color for our, uh, all of this other stuff. But there we go. I don't know if we're gonna leave that. There's a lot of stuff I have to go and change in here, but I don't know. It looks kind of neat. Maybe we'll keep that. Maybe we won't. I don't know, but let's go ahead. Let's close up our garage our mess of a garage. I'm just making such a mess. Oh my God, I didn't put the car all the way in. 
Um, okay, let's let's face that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm closing the garage door on our car. That is that's not how you do it, you guys. That's not how you do it. Okay, let's get out. And hopefully this time there won't be any problems. There we go. Okay, awesome. So let's go on into our house now. Now I'm wondering, I, I actually kind of like how the orange looks here, but let's see. On these railings, let's see what would happen if we were to go ahead and grab some... Is there like, is there a black? Let's grab this and see what that looks like. Ooh, that might look really good. Oh, I kind of like how that looks. Oh, I kind of really like how that looks. I've gotten used to the using the orange, but if that actually looks pretty gosh darn awesome. That actually looks really cool. Oh my god, I'm starting to really like this paint tool already, and we've only been using it for a tiny bit now. If we go back and change all this orange to black, it actually looks really cool. I've gotten used to using the orange, but in all reality, this looks this looks pretty super awesome. But the real problem with this, you guys, is that uh, any block you can actually select giant areas and paint them all at once, but you can only do that for blocks that you'd be able to place in giant areas. So like this block here, you can place in a giant area and you're able to paint it like that. So that's cool. But if you have a block, like uh, like a bunch of these, actually I don't even think you can paint those, so that's not a good example. But if we go ahead and we were to grab like these guys, you can't drag and place a bunch of those. You have to place them all next to each other. And you're not able to paint them in an area as well. You have to click them one by one. So that's the one problem I have with this paint tool. But other than that, it's pretty awesome. And I think I'll be able to manage. But uh, yeah, I'll go paint that later. But there we go. That's It's looking cool. I like how that plaque looks there. Looks pretty cool. Let's go on. Let's go inside of our house. And oh, we can paint the buttons. Let's see how this looks right there. Ooh, it made a block. I like it. Cool. I don't know. Is block too much? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to get, I don't know, this, I'm gonna have a lot of messing around to do to get this place looking perfect, but let's go in here, oh, we can paint all this stuff, awesome, but, um, I wonder, what about these door frames, do they look good like that, maybe if we were to grab a white and paint all of those white, that could look cool, like that, ooh, it makes it a lot brighter, more like a door frame of an actual house, I like how that looks, looks super awesome there, a lot brighter, and then maybe we can even go ahead and, oh my god, our wallpaper! Oh my god, the bottom half of the door here. We can maybe go ahead and make a, uh, I don't know. There's so many options! Oh, that might, that kind of looks cool. Oh my god, I don't, I'm having so much fun with this stuff, you guys. I don't, ah, uh, I don't even know, if, that doesn't even look that great, but it's still so cool to play. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just having so much fun with this. This tool is just so cool. I love it. Um, Actually, oh, earlier I was messing around and I changed up this refrigerator. I actually went ahead and I painted the refrigerator. Oh, wow, that's really dark. But um, it's cool because now we have a actual white back of the refrigerator. I think I made it white. So if we uh, erase it, yeah, this is what it looked like. And then we go ahead and we make it white. And it just looks so much more like a refrigerator, which is super awesome. So there we go. That's our refrigerator. I'm wondering, is there anything else we need to do in here? I think this place looks pretty cool for now. So I don't think we really have to mess around with anything. But maybe at another point, I don't know. I think we're just going to do a lot of messing around. And at some point, I'll have to do a lot to finish up everything. But ooh, we got some couches in here. I'm wondering, maybe, maybe there's some stuff we could do to paint the couches. Would that be a good idea? Ah, I don't know. I don't want to risk anything. But oh my god, I want to get, I want to paint that. Okay, there, I got it. But there we go. That's how that paint looks. I don't know. We'll have to mess around with it more, but let's go ahead and mess around with the couches or the chairs and see what colors we want when I'm painting these. Let's just grab some purples, you guys, and start seeing how that might look. So if we go ahead and paint that couch, oh my god, it's so it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You guys, it's so pretty. There we go. That's actually looking more like a blue, surprisingly. So let's go ahead and change that up. There we go. These, these all look like blues. Are you kidding me? These look just like a blue. Now, what in God's name is that all about? That's a blue. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Some of these colors look a bit weird. Maybe if we get an even lighter color. That doesn't look purple! That looks blue! Am I going crazy, you guys? Oh my god. Maybe it's my monitor, but that looks blue to me. Maybe if we picked out some pink. Maybe that would look purple. That looks purple to me now. That looks a bit pink, but it's, it's more purple than what we were looking at before. Maybe even a darker one. Maybe. I want to get the perfect purple, guys. Oh, that looks good. That's a good purple, guys. That's a good purple. 
I don't know if it looks really good on the couch, but it's purple at least, right? <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. I love it so much. I don't know what I'm gonna do practically though, because this as uh, I don't know that actually kind of, that might work a bit. Oh, I think if we go ahead, we can we can actually paint paintings. Oh, that's so cool. I think we have a painting over here. Yeah, <gasps> we can turn it purple. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, can we actually? Oh, maybe if we grab some gray, we can change what that looks like. Oh yes, we can. Oh yes, I'm loving it. We can get rid of all the orange in our house. As much as I love orange, this makes it look so much less, like orange was kind of sticking out of nowhere. It didn't really fit the building. And now we don't have to have it, guys. We don't have to have the orange, which is amazing. It is amazing. Let's go in here. Do we have any orange? Yep, let's change it up. Turn that all to a nice black. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can you paint plots? Oh my God, you can, you can paint pots. I swear, you can paint anything in this game. Here we go, you guys. But here is the moment of truth. Can you paint the toilet seat? What color are we gonna go with, you guys? What color are we gonna go with? How about some green? Let's just see what that looks like. <gasps> yes, and we can paint the toilet seat green. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my god, this place is awesome. I love it. Having being able to paint all these different colors. Oh, we can paint the windows. My goodness, the, you can you can paint anything. You can paint practically anything. Anything you think you can paint, you can paint it, guys. You can paint it. This is starting to look pretty weird though. I've got a Oh my god, this looks weird. <laughs> this looks really really weird. Oh my god. This looks really weird. But okay, let's go upstairs. See what we can do upstairs maybe. Um boots. Can we paint the boots? Can we paint the boots? <gasps> Yes, we can paint the boot. Now we can have different sets of boots up here. We've got a pair of blue boots, a pair of black boots. Oh, I want to actually, maybe if we just pick a few different colors. Oh, it's like at the shades, it gets bluer. Maybe we want to make it purple, but whatever. There we go. That's super duper awesome. Maybe our bed. Oh, maybe we want to change our bed. See what we can do for paint colors on the bed. Um, What do we got here? We got some, let's actually try making it a darker gray. Oh, that looks good. I like that. That looks really good. Let's finish up that. And there we go. I mean, ooh, what if we were like that? Oh my god, it looks like a, it's like a little character with a mouth. Oh my god, if we make those little things eyes white. Oh my god, it's like a little mouth. My bed is like a mouth. See the little teeth, the little, not, the little bolts there are like little teeth. And those are the eyes. It's so cute. My bed is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Um. But you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna continue messing around with this tool here and seeing how I can make this place look even better. I'm just, I was just messing around there getting a feel for how this thing works. But some of this stuff just looks god awful. This whole place looks god awful. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to actually make it look good using all of these paint tools and we'll meet back up once I think I've done that in just a bit. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are back and I have actually gone ahead and I have changed up the color of the house quite a bit if we go inside. And I actually kind of went with a color theme. I went kind of with a black and white kind of a color theme for the house. And I think it actually came out pretty neat. So if we walk in here and turn right into our kitchen, you'll see that I actually went ahead and started changing the little boxes I used for cabinets to a different color. And oh my God, the kitchen is the one room I didn't finish up. I'm sorry guys, I was changing all this. I'm sorry, I let you down. I'm sorry, oh no, I'm sorry. I put you all down. Oh my God, well everything else is practically colored like this, but uh, we're gonna go throughout the house and check out how everything came out. But yeah, that's this room. We got the black cabinets, we've got kind of a white made, uh, we made this little edge here a bit more white and maybe we might want to make those all that color just to tie it all in nicely. There we go, looking good, looking good. Uh, but now, if we walk into this room, you'll notice what I did in here was I actually went ahead and I did this really neat trim. So if you guys look up in your house right now, you should be able to see, or maybe down, or maybe around your doors. I don't know. People have trim in different places of their houses. But uh, this is a little bit of like a white that I put on the top just as a bit of a cool coloring. I put it there before I was doing it by placing a bunch of these little blocks right here. I was doing this earlier. I was doing this as a trim 
and I decided to change it up and do this instead. Uh, I'll change that over in just a bit. I just wanted to show you guys the contrast. But there we go. We've got that around this room and we actually did it in every room of the house. But uh, here we go. I also went ahead and I changed the color of the couches to a little gray as well. So it matched with the walls and everything. Uh, and if we go in here, you guys can see we I changed up the table. I think it actually looks really, really cool. Look at that color. I just, I love it. It looks super awesome. I like how it came out. It looks really cool in there. And if we come in here, you'll notice I also have the darker stuff in here. I have the toilet nice and uh, with a black seat. Perfect, right? Oh my God. You know what? When you take using the toilet on a black toilet, it just, with a black toilet seat, it just, it's so much better than just a normal toilet seat. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> But okay, uh, that's all this place is done down here. So let's go on up stairs and check out how we painted up the upstairs and see how it's starting to look. I changed up the color of this right here. I thought it looked pretty cool. But if we go on up, we can notice I changed up a lot of the sides here. I did the trim on the top of this room. We did this little white here. I made the bench here white. I made the uh, this thing here a bit more white. I made all the tables a bit more white. I don't know if you're catching a common theme here. I just made a lot of things a lot more white, but uh, this is pretty much what the color was beforehand. So it was a lot more gray. And so I just, I made those all whiter. So they popped a bit more. So I really like how those came out. But here's the one thing I changed up a bit more differently, you guys. And this is actually a kind of cool idea that we'll be able to probably use in the future, which is I kind of changed this wood to a darker wood type. It's not like I changed it to a different color but I kind of changed it to a different wood type. Like I did change the color by picking up one of these colors, but it doesn't look like I just painted a different color. It looks like it's a darker type of wood, which is really cool. And I imagine if we pick a lighter one, this looks like a birch wood and whatnot. So I feel like that's actually kind of a cool idea. We'll be able to paint all these walls different colors in order to make them seem like different types of wood, which is actually a pretty neat idea that I hope I can use in the future. Of our buildings but um that's all i did over there and over here we changed these paintings to purple i don't know i just thought that these rooms need a little bit of color so i went ahead and i did that so that's how i did that so that's this room and here we go the final room of the house i didn't change much i stuck with the theme but here we go you guys my pride and joy my rainbow boot showcase oh my god look at it the rainbow boots so many nice rainbow boots we got ourselves a red boot we got ourselves an orange boot we got a yellow boot a blue green boot a blue boot and a purple boot roy g biv the rainbow colored boot collection i love it i love it so much do a little jump on our bed here but yeah you guys that is our house and i think it was it's an improvement changing up the colors a bit some of you guys might think it's a bit repetitive and I could agree with that but I also think it's kind of neat to have a bit of a change of colors to make the place look more uh in sync with each other and I kind of like it so yeah that's the house we can head on downstairs take one last look around our nice house and head on outside and there we go that's our house that is our new house and I really like how it came out now that's all there is there but there's plenty of stuff we're going to be able to do in the future, you guys, with this rainbow-colored gun. I mean, honestly, we can make so many cool rainbow textures. Like, we can just go ahead and start grabbing some uh, reds, and we do our red, orange, green, blue, indigo. I don't know. That's not the right color. Whatever. Uh, it's close enough. It's the wrong one. But... Uh, and violet so there we go see we can make straight up rainbows and i love it i love it so much i find this so awesome i absolutely love it i think we're gonna have a ton of fun with this in the future making rainbows and making all sorts of colorful things and i don't know i just i think it's pretty cool and i think it's gonna be really fun to mess around with this stuff in the future but uh there we go you guys i hope you did enjoy me messing around with the colorful paint gun i thought it was pretty fun to do but uh, for now, I think this is probably where we're going to call it, you guys. Hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you have any ideas of what you guys want me to do in the future for buildings, uh, I'd love to hear them. I like making inventions. I like making buildings. I'll, I, I like doing it all. So if you guys have any ideas of your own, I would love to hear them in the comments below. 
Uh, so make sure to do that. But uh, this is what we're gonna call it, you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are all in the description, as well as on the top of the screen. And um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the most pretty rainbow flag on the universe. I love it. It's so beautiful. Just look at it. It's so pretty. It's the best thing ever. It's so gorgeous. Yes, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful.